Hello folks, welcome to DW Golfing. Hello folks, welcome to DW Golfing. Today we have the Titleist 910, Titleist 913, and Titleist 915D. Um, D2s. All diamond shafts. Yep. And so, as many people know, well, Titleist probably makes the best clubs. It's an opinion. Has, it has a name. good, yeah, yeah, it has a good, good rep. Yeah. And so... We have the 910, the 913, and 915 with us, and we thought we'd compare them with the exception of the 915 that has a stiff shaft. These two yeah. are regular. And this, the 910 is cut down. But, I mean, so. it shouldn't make much difference on how it feels. Mm -hmm. We're hitting into a net here. We're actually here in Dominic's basement where DW Golfing Start. started out. So where we only got, like, 15 views. A, his a historical site. Yep. So go check out those videos. All right. So what what do you want to do first, Wade? Let's go nine ten. Nine ten first. Yeah, you go in order. Yeah, you can hit it first. All right. This is this is the club that I used for most of the beginning of the year, like the first couple months of the season. And he hit it. I'd say he hit it pretty well. Pretty um, well. Yeah, I could con I could control it pretty well, but um, I just I didn't get enough distance because I cut it down like an inch. I lost a little bit of distance with that. And then he was starting to use the air burner here. Yep, and I hit that one farther. But yeah, couldn't, couldn't keep it as controlled. Control. But when he hit it good, it was really good. All right, so. Let's see what you can do here. See what I can do here. Okay. I fell over that one a little bit. So this thing is... Uh, on the C3, pumped out good, pumped pretty nice. Um, so this club is in the greatest condition. That's for sure. It's got a couple scratches on it. Pass down throughout the years. It's a ten and a half degree. I think all of them are ten and a half. Mine's actually set at well set, but mine's actually at set at eleven. Uh, regular shaft. Diamana. Diamana. 65 grams regular shaft. All right, William, why don't you yeah. take a crack at it? Yeah. And um, I'm going to go look for that book quick. All right. All right, so I found it. Found the tool and stuff. And uh, William, why don't you hit that? And while you're hitting it, I'll look for what it means. All right. Well, uh, I, I have two because I have two. Uh, I have the ni My dad used the 913. And the 910. And the 910, actually, so. Well, a little bit about the technology. As you at, pretty cool bag. Oh, that's cool. As you may have seen, um, the new 915 like has it's called the active recoil channel. Has like like a slot on the bottom so that on off center strikes it like um, the ball speed stays up. This one doesn't have it here, but as you can see, it has the center of gravity back here, so uh, increasing MOI and a lot of a lot of forgiveness. Okay, so I wait. What was that? C three, C three. Yeah. Okay, so I found out what the chart really means. So C three is going to be a um, where is it? C three is a higher loft, more draw, slight draw, slightly higher up. So it's at eleven and a half. So it's right there. So it's at eleven and a half. That one feel real good actually. Um, you can act, you can swing it a lot faster because it's a lighter, smaller. lighter and smaller. Yeah, it does feel small. All right, I'm gonna get one more hit here. I hit that off the toe a little bit, but it still felt pretty good. Okay, <laughs> and William's brother's driver is snap that, snap driver. Is that a a four? Right. So that's uh that's high highest loft yeah and more of a fade. So he has his head twelve degrees. So uh, twelve degrees and he's hoping to get that reshafted at one point. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the nine thirteen now. Oh okay. All right, so Dominic has the nine thirteen here now. This is a little bit longer than well actually a lot longer than nine ten. But 
Here, let's uh, just compare. Got that golf prod grip. Yeah. As yeah. with the multi compound. I think you have. Do you have a different. No, grip? but I want to. Do you hear the golf pride multi compounds? Okay, so here's what they look like. Same, same kind of um, design. Yeah. There's really no difference to them actually. Mm -hmm. Until you look on the bottom, and you can see a slight difference. Okay, so let me hit this sucker. Now we're saying that the 910 is shorter only because you got it cut down. It's not got, standard. It's you not. guys always have to remember that you that you can get you can get custom fit for see this is for what needs you. Okay. Same C3, so slight draw. Yeah, take a crack at it. Ten. Ten degrees. All right. Let's see what I can do here. That one definitely feels a lot more smooth than like when you hit it, like a lot more contact. Went a little right contact. on you. Yeah. Yeah. I pushed it a little bit, but you definitely get a lot better contact with the 913 and the 9. It has a better feel to it. Yeah. This one feels. I thought this one felt like a little like dull. Yeah. Like not, not a lot of feel to it. But some people might like that. Maybe. That one sounds better. Felt better. All right, I'll take a crack at it now. I'll explain the technology, I guess. I guess. Um, so as you can see here, another diamond shaft, and nothing much really to it, like that changed. The weight's still back here, so it should be pretty forgiving. <clears throat> Look, looking down on it, it still looks looks really nice. No difference, really. All right, let's give it a crack here. really good. It does have slightly different feel to it. Here's a T. Take one more. And we'll both hit one of this. Sounded good. Yeah, it felt really good. A little out the bottom, but still, it was still pretty nice. Here, I'm gonna stop it for a second because I have a good idea. One more. One more. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the broken one. Well, you can if you want. Nah, I'm alright. I don't want to look like an idiot. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! You gotta hold that one. Hit the bongo. Okay, well, you tell them what we're gonna do here now. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is. So, if you're a Titleist fan, you've heard about the active recoil channel in the 915. So, oh, what we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, both hit one out the toe. 913. Both. Okay. And see how they feel compared to the one nine. of each. Yeah. Okay. Compared to the 913. Oh, let's put the key in my pocket. Alright, so I'm gonna hit one out the toe here. Address it in the toe. Game. Ooh. Yeah, that was right out the toe. It didn't uh, didn't feel that great. I could tell that the ball wasn't coming off as fast. <laughs> yes, he felt different. Was that off the toe? Yeah. Yeah, it has it has a different sound to it. First, as of you all. can see, I do hit it off the toe a lot though, with this because it's a lot more gray down here. So. All right, okay, so here so goes Dominic. Here's, here's Dominic. <laughs> here's the nine thirteen. Okay, so it ripped 
off. I mean, so you can't really uh, tell the difference, I don't think. Well, you can feel the difference. Yeah, definitely. And uh, so let's move on to 915. Yeah. So Williams is one and a half degrees more left and that the highest drops. I think it's like 12. It's at 11 actually. Oh, I had it at, I bought it at nine and a half, so. Here's the picture again. If I'm, I'm gonna go first here with the 915. Just because it's my club. Okay. So as you can see here, not really know how to do this. The, the active recoil channel oh, yeah. right here. So it's supposed to keep ball ball speed up on miss miss strikes. <laughs> Definitely a different sound. Diamond shaft again. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Alright, Dom. <laughs> I don't really know how to do this. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, I'll get it going. Did you undo it, or? I don't know what I did. I don't think you did anything. Nothing. What were you trying to do? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Alright, I've hit this before. I definitely like the feel of this. It feels very nice. The design on yes, this is it could. very different than the other two. It, it's like more sparkly. And if you want to show them like the lineup line, the difference. So like, uh, this one has like, uh, they're kind of backwards. I don't really know how to explain it. But no. It doesn't really bug me. I actually kind of like it. I ripped that sucker. You want to talk about the feel? Yeah, why don't I? Alright, so it definitely feels different. Like, it feels like it's coming off the face. Feels like it's actually a lot more smooth. Yeah. Coming through. Feels like you're hitting butter. Well, that's my metaphor. Okay. So, the last one. And then we'll just conclude with some final thoughts. We'll do the, uh, the toe strike. I'll strike you, toe. That one was off the toe. Oh, really? So, why don't you just explain it then? So, it felt like it was kind of a little bit wobbly when I hit it, mm -hmm. but well, you think it like felt a, pretty controlled. Yeah, you think they're like gimmicky with how they're, with what they're doing? I do you think it's a little gimme? <laughs> Golf archives. Um, but, but like, do you think, um, like, do you think the active recoil channel is doing anything? Mm. No. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it does anything. I think in testing, um, like if you're testing slight, with a robot, I think it does slight work. Yeah. But other than that, I feel like it's the same with any other good club. Yeah. Like with the air burner, it feels the same. I think every club does something, like sort of like what Toes does with the. This. It just has a better name. Yeah. It just has a name, basically. Yeah. And any more people just people like their clubs and they do make quality clubs. When you buy a club, they're not gonna, you know, rat you out. They are a little bit spicy. A they, bit of a spicy price. Yeah. How much did you buy that for? Four fifty. So that's not awful, but But when you like a club like this and how it looks and what it and what it does, it uh 
kind of pays off, I guess. I'm still, I bought it two months ago, and I'm still trying to get used to it for my previous club, which was a Callaway X-Hot regular shaft, and this is a stiff, so. Okay, I'm going to hit one off the toe. I do think it will offer a little more forgiveness than the 910 and mm -hmm. 915, but Definitely not 910. Yeah, but not, not much. This is a really nice looking club. Yeah, that was right out the toe. Um, it just didn't come off with as much uh, pop as what it would from a center strike, but I think it would still, it will come off with more ball speed than it would with the other two. Definitely through the years, Tylus has gotten better at making yeah. their clubs. From 910 to the 913 to the 915 each one got better feeling. Yeah, and you can see the differences between them. And feel them. Especially. Yeah. All right, so if you want to come out here, Dominic. I'm all right. So, like, what's your rating on uh, 9, 910? What's your rating on all three of them? For 910, I'd give that a solid, for its time, I'd give it a 8 out of 10. But now, compared yeah, to now. other clubs, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's yeah. still a good club. Yeah, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, I think, but there's just more technology on the market, so I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, 913? Um, uh, when it came out, 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was it was a hit. Now? Now? 8. Eight, 8 out of 10. <coughs> yeah, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. You're it's still a really good club compared to... If you have the 915, I mean, if you have the 913... There's not going to be a huge difference going to the 913, 915. Yeah. And 915, nine, I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. Oh, really? It's nothing special, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, it is a really nice club, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I can't, can't really ex explain nothing wrong with it, really. No. Nah, it's just... It's a, it's a good quality club. Yep. That should wrap it up here. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Like, subscribe, comment. Watch our previous videos. Coming right up, here. coming up next. That's where the video is going to be. Coming up next is Dominic's "What's in the Bag."